In this presentation, we look at how to compute the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix and also the Cholesky decomposition. Just as a remark, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that. I've checked out a few YouTube clips, they seem to pronounce it differently. So I'll go with Cholesky for the time being. Anyway, so we have a matrix A, and what I want to do is compute the eigenvalues of A and the eigenvectors of A. So the command I'm going to use here is simply eigen, and what it does, it, it this function, this command actually computes both. So we have the eigenvalues of A and the eigenvectors of A. So first off, I'll just remark on the fact that this these values are normalized. So the magnitude of column one is going to be one, and likewise the other two. So and that is called normalization. So, um, the second thing is what I want to remark upon is suppose I want to isolate the eigenvalues directly, um, access the eigenvalues on their own. What I would do there is I would use the dollar sign symbol to uh, access the eigenvalues directly and just disregard the eigenvectors. <coughs> Here we have very small numbers as it is, it's just uh, as a result of the numbers I picked. And likewise for eigenvectors, there we have it there. Okay, I'm going to move on now to Cholesky decomposition. Now, Cholesky decomposition is for a positive semi-definite symmetric matrix. Now, just to be clear, that's very specific types of matrices, not all types of matrices. So, let's just have a quick look at an example of a symmetric matrix. I have another example here, B and B, and I'm going to look at the transpose of B just to demonstrate the idea of a symmetric matrix. Uh, B is its own transpose. B, true, true, true. There we have it there. Okay, so let's carry out this decomposition. So the command we're going to use is Cholesky, or Chal, and there we have it there. So what this does is it decomposes B into a matrix L and B is computed as L times the transpose of L. Here is L here on its own and this is the transpose of L and what happens is that B is the, uh, multi the product of these two matrices. Oops, 